our full making skills right there. Hello, how are you doing? Bad? Fabulous. Absolutely brilliant. I hope your day is absolutely awful. I'm lovely, aren't I? So today's video is going to be about scary films that aren't actually scary. Even though the title says scary films, I'm actually going to be talking about scary films because I'm going to be talking about scary films that aren't actually scary. I've already said that. So last night I watched Insidious. Now Insidious is quite a weird horror film. Uh, it's quite unpredictable, like obviously that little roleplay thing, roleplay, is it really a roleplay? The thing I did at the start, I went outside with a camp, or well, not outside, I went outside my room, that's the first I'll get, that's the first, that's the closest I'll get to the outside. But I went outside my room, filmed it, looked to the right, looked to the left, and you look left and you're going to expect to see something there, weren't you? This time it was a sloth, I love sloths, that's why I got the name. No, but you're, you know, every single film is like that now, it's a bit annoying because every single film is predictable. Like really, really predictable. But Insidious isn't actually that predictable, and I realise that because it's not more jumpy films. It's more, it's more of a, I don't know, plays in your mind sort of thing. It's quite a good film. The ending's quite good as well. I quite like it. But yeah, let's actually try and get into the topic of today's video. And the first film I'm going to cover is Scream. What is Scream, and what is it doing on our television? It's a guy who is on his period on Halloween, got a mask, walked around, started killing people. Bit harsh, right? No excuse to kill people, worst film ever, absolutely horrific, such a bad film. If you watch the film Scary Movie, it's practically it's mocking Scream the whole time. It is, it is quite a good film just because it's mocking Scream but the film in general is pretty shit. But no, it's an absolutely terrible film. It, it has nothing, it has no storyline, it's just a crazy guy killing people. It's absolutely terrible and if you haven't watched it, don't. It's really not worth watching. The next film, Saw. This is practically what the guy off the screen enjoys probably watching, just watching more people get killed, walking into rooms and getting killed. What annoys me about the film is people are so, so stupid. It says in the thing, the door, do not fire this gun because it will kill you. And they're like, oh, that obviously means that you don't need to fire this gun because that means it definitely won't kill you. So don't fire the gun and it kills them. Yeah, well done. Back to you, idiot. But now that film's probably slightly worse than Scream. Uh, it's completely pointless. Uh, it's a really stupid film. It actually has no storyline. I think the first one does, kind of, not really. It's just an old dude with a little clown going around on a bike. It's completely pointless. I think one of the scenes I was watching, she was the, she was the last girl, she had like a bear trap and everything on her face, and if it, the timer went off, it would rip all the drawer off sort of thing and she had to get this key to unlock, take the bear trap off and she had to, this guy was lying on the floor completely paralysed she got a nice like stab in it, ripped all this stuff out stuff she ripped all his like, you know, intestines and pulled this key out, unlocked the bear trap and walked off what? and yeah, that's kind of it I don't really want to go into too much detail with films because they're that bad it's really going to put me in a bath but please, in the description put in, not in the description in the comment section below put in other films that you think are terrible don't put these ones, I know they're really bad, but they, oh my god, I just hate them, so never watch them if you haven't already, but in the comment section below, put in films that you think are terrible, and see you later guys, PEACE!